you know, when it comes down to pinching pennies, $10 uh, added to your electricity bill is a lot of money for a lot of folks, especially here in Detroit. And for the first time, the Michigan Public Service Commission heard from DTE customers about the proposed rate hike. Which side are you on, Red? DTE customers packed this room full, and many also were outside protesting, sounding off over the proposed DTE rate hikes. I'm 27 years old, got my own business, I'm a homeowner. But when I get my bill, I want to go back home to my mother. DTE is requesting a rate hike of $388 million, and for three hours, the Michigan Public Service Commission listened to public comment against the rate hike. We want DTE to hear the stories of real people who are living through the everyday struggle of paying these electric bills. I'm asking that you deny this rate increase and let DTE figure it out from inside. Take that $15 billion, rearrange it somehow, but don't take it out of our pockets. And DTE was listening to it all. Their argument, they say it is necessary to upgrade the grid and to improve the reliability of their service after the mass power outages last summer. What this is all about is just investment in the grid. And grid needs investment. So every so often, you have to go in just like with anything else. You have to do necessary maintenance, necessary repairs. Nearly 3 million customers would be impacted by the 8.8% increase. Usually when companies raise their prices, it's because their service is getting better. We as Detroiters know that that's not the case. So I'm asking you today to not let them raise the rates at all, period. And many DTE customers say that DTE should be footing the bill. Their argument, paying DTE a few more dollars per month hurts them more than it would DTE. We can't even pay bus fare to get here, which is $2, so please do not raise our bills. Now, the Michigan Public Service Commission will be using these public comments for their decision, and we won't be hearing anything from them until November. We'll keep you updated. Reporting in downtown Detroit, I'm Peter Maxwell, 7 Action News. $10 may not sound like a lot, but when you're pinching pennies already, it can really add to your monthly payments. Peter, thank you so much.